Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Roleplay Skyrim with Anaig, myself, Pem, and our newest addition, our dear horse, Glim, who carried us safely from uh, Solitude yesterday all the way to Dawnstar, which is where we are now. We're going to have some breakfast here at the inn, and then we are going to uh, have a little walk about <clears throat> town and see if we can... Um, I don't know, you know, learn a little bit about the town. We, we've never been here before, obviously. And, uh, and Ike's curious. She wants to check it out. So. And we don't know who this strange person is. Hmm. Hello? And what might you need? Hmm? Um, <clears throat> I found out that the whistling thing is a skill Until from the time. Convenient Horses mod that you have to learn, so I'll have to like practice it with NPCs to become good at it. And then once I have it, you can use it to call your horse wherever your horse is if your <clears throat> excuse me. If your horse isn't within sight. You can whistle for it and it'll come running for you, so um and then another part of the convenient horses mod is if you have a horse, you can basically have like a whole herd of horses, which is kind of cool. But if you have a horse, um, let's check on Glenn, by the way. Oh, she's still there. She's good. Yeah. Did you miss us? Here, you want another snack? Some breakfast. There you go. That's for you, girl. Munch, munch. Um... I hope we don't get cold out here. Right, so you can basically have a herd of horses. You can have a horse for all of your followers. Khajiit Caravan. Let's check it out. And uh, if you have more than one horse, you can use a horn. You can buy a horn that will call call all the horses to you. Hello. makes this one weary. Hey, can I practice my whistling with you? Hmm? Sorry, I'm still learning. You expect me to believe that? Sorry, I'm sorry. That was probably annoying, wasn't it? Hello. Bandits harass the caravans at every step, but Khajiit usually scared them off. Ooh, I'd like to see that. Um, you having problems with bandits? A few days ago, we were ambushed. A nuisance, really. But many of the marauders had quick fingers. Hmm. One of them stole my moon amulet. Given to me by my mother when I was just a cow. It is my only memory of home in this cold land. Hmm. You know, and I can relate. She's far from home, too, and she'd like a little something to remember home by, but at the same time, she's not really going to be hunting down an individual's trinket. So, yeah, that's a, that's a real shame. We are used to the cycle of gain and loss. It is no trouble. Oh. Seems like you've uh, adapted pretty well, then. Um, are you a guard for the caravan? Yes, I was hired to protect the others as we walked the roads of Skyrim. Probably good. It is a thankless task, and I would rather be back home in elsewhere. But I have little choice. Little choice? Akari freed me from a prison in Cyrodiil, and now I must repay my debt to him. A word of advice, my friend. Do not mix gambling and drink. Taken together, they will empty your pockets of every septum. Hmm. What do you have to deal with usually as a guard for the caravan? Skyrim is filled with all manner of dangerous beasts. Ha, you have to tell me that. Wolves, trolls, mammoths, and giants would all like to make a meal of us. But the dragons are the most fearsome. Lucky for us, they don't seem to hunt along the roads. Hmm. That's actually really useful information. Thank you for that. Can I practice my whistle? Hmm? I don't know. Can cats whistle? Is there anything you can teach me? It can't be helped. Yeah, probably not. May your road lead you to warm sands. Thank you. Hello? How high the mountains of Skyrim rise. No joke. Higher than uh, mountains near Farron, that's for sure. Hello. So many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. 
I am glad to see that you are not such a one. May I see your wares, please? Take a look. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I have anything to sell. Oh, wait, I can sell that. Awesome. I think there's actually a book that I can sell, too, now that I think about it. I was looking through an old video, and I think I saw a book that went unsold. Which I guess I could find just by going through the books, huh? There it is, locked room. Uh, hmm, yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot of... Oh, I have 243 gold. I thought I had, like, 50. But you don't really have much that I could use, do you? Oh, oh, yeah. How many do I have? Pretty good, but not awesome. I could use it. I'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. May the sun keep you warm, even in this land of bitter cold. And I like the Khajiit generally. They're really friendly. Um, and she doesn't necessarily feel distrusting of them. She hasn't ever had a reason to. Like I said, there's not a lot of Khajiit that run through Farron. Um, she's seen some here and there, but... Oh, where are you going, kid? Who are you? What's what's the hurry? I'm running food and supplies to the miners. <laughs> oh. Don't pay much, but they let me sleep by the fire in the inn most nights. You don't have any place else to sleep? What happened to your family? They're dead. My pa was a sailor. He took me with him on his last trip. After he got sick, they put us off here and left without us. He died a few days later. I tried to make do since then, but it's been hard. Man, that is a, uh, I'm late. Dawnstar is a tough place to be an orphan. Freaking cold up here. It's a real shame, and I feels bad for that kid. She would, I wonder if that kid would be interested if I gave him some gold. If he, ooh, cool. I don't know if I've seen that before. That's gotta be a vanilla game, but I, I still don't think I've seen it. Hello there. If I get any rest soon. Myself richer than a king. Work the mine, then that makes sense. Hello. Wait, what is it? I haven't had much sleep. Um, I'm looking for somebody who can tell me something about the town. Who, uh, what do you know about the Jarl in charge? That would be Skald the Elder. He's been running Dawnstar ever since he was a boy. And he never lost that brat's attitude. Mm, I can kind of tell that, yeah. First chance he got. Now we're all part of this rebellion. Oh, so you favor the Empire, then. Mm -hmm. Or at least you probably don't want to be part of the conflict, it would seem. This is house. Affiliated with the mine, I'm sure. Hello, gentlemen. I plan to spend all the days I got left on the water. It's where I belong. It's admirable. Hello. Yeah. Everyone thinks I'm too young to be a ship's crew. I don't buy all that talk about ship captains having to stir up the strict. I want my crewmen to enjoy their work. Oh, so you're cool. By inheritance, as my men are fond of saying. Can't blame them. My mother ran the sea squall as strictly as she ran the house. I've been trying to find new areas of business. I'm trying to win the sailors' respect. I keep having problems. Take the last trade we did. Some fine cut void salts from the College of Winterwood. Oh. Plenty of coin if you know who to sell it to. You bought those or you uh, were selling them to the College of Winterhold? What happened to them? Sailors are what happened to them. They got drunk and ended up losing the merchandise in some cave. Why were they if taking it to a cave? A exploring, I'll pay good gold to get those salts. I'm not afraid of exploring, but that mm -hmm. doesn't really appeal to me. Sorry. Oh. I don't like taking orders from a boy, but I need the gold. Good old Dunmer. Safe travels. Hmm. Okay, so we have one mine over here. I wonder if there's any competition between the mines. And this is a house. Hello? Seems like no one is getting a decent night's rest in Dawnstar, stranger. Best buy your steel and move on. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I've been told. What uh, what do you sell? Looking to protect yourself? Ah, or you're a blacksmith. Okay. 
I'm pretty sure I don't have anything to sell you. No, I don't. And you don't have anything to sell me. Well, it was a pleasure. Come back if you Actually, need can I practice my whistling with no? you? How about a huh? <laughs> I like how it staggers and that's kind of funny. Um, any tips for how to whistle? Not my problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm. I mean, this is a nice little town for what it is. It's god awful cold, but. Brina's house. I think we met Brina, did we not? She was the, uh, the former legionnaire, I think, that was outside the longhouse last night. The water makes potions, if you can't tell from the name. Just step up to the counter. Thank you. You seem very friendly. Oh, I talked to you in the, in the inn last night. Hello. No, I don't have anything for bad dreams. So don't ask. Oh, yeah, that bad dreams, yeah. Well, let me see what so you have. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Indeed. Magic of potions, okay. Oh, God, I don't have much gold. <sighs> I wonder if I can make... I, I probably can't make anything, let but let me try. Let me come down with the rattles. Maybe I can make some things that I could sell to her, and then... Like, resist poison, for instance? Pfft. How am I ready? Oh, uh, yeah, fine. Um, damage health. I could use these for myself, actually. And, let's do... It's just fire. Ooh, 70 gold, yeah. It's just frost. Okay. And we got an uh, alchemy increase. That's nice. Right. I don't think we picked up any new ingredients. Doesn't look like it. Oh! Rock warbler egg. No. Let's try that with red mountain flower. No! Rats. Okay. Okay, let's sell her our resistance potions. The We're going to get <coughs> cents on the dollar. And ingredients? Or whatever the... Tamrielic uh, equivalent is. Ounces on the septum, maybe? I don't know. Uh, right, okay. We could probably sell her the invisibility too, frankly. I don't see myself using them anytime soon. That gives us some. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the invisibility. <clears throat> Watch, the very next quest I have will be a one where I wish that I had invisibility. Food, ingredients, potion, uh, uh, recipes, mortar, and pestle. I wish it told me what I could do with this. I think you can use it to make potions, and I think I've mentioned that All before. Right, then. Pleasure. Okay, apothecary, we've visited. Hello. You come to Dawn oh, I spoke to you. Bad time. Tempers are fiery. Sounds like it. Hmm. Okay. Hello there. You seem awfully alone out here. Looking to hire a boat? Oh, where do you go? Where are you headed? Solitude or Windhelm? Uh, neither of those places. Sorry. All right. We could go to Windhelm and take the road up from there, but that really wouldn't save us much. I don't think. I mean, this way, or this way. It's, I mean, I guess it would save us some time, but is it worth 50 gold? Probably not. God, weather up here. It's been snowing the whole time we've been here. Hello? You're wrong to come here, stranger. No rest in Dawnstar. Man. It's not like people are unfriendly. It's kind of like they're telling me, like, there's no point. Get out of here. Another mine. Guard. And the longhouse. Okay. Well, should we go to the inn and collect our things and move on? What time do we have? Lunch time. Okay, let's eat some lunch. Let me check what this house is. Barracks.
There's the kid. Wind peak in. Okay. So yeah, one thing I noticed in the older videos that I've been looking through since I installed Skyrim Redone. Did I talk to you? The one runs the inn. Speak to him. Hey, can I whistle? Huh? Got any tips? <laughs> gold solves most problems, don't it? Mm -hmm. 158 gold to learn how to whistle? Uh, why don't you just just give me a tip? Nah, I don't think so. Hmm. That's like all I have, isn't it? That's more than I have. Extortionist. Okay, well let's take a seat. Okay, the soup. Salmon steak. Okay. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Grief. She's not a very good bard, is she? Yes. Hey, uh, have you been having nightmares too? It seems to be going around. The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. Um... Why would you say that there's anything you could do about it? These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage Clapping is permanent. really weird. You just said there's nothing you can do about it. What is it you're planning to do? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcaller Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. Ugh. Um... Where is this Nightcaller Temple and what do you mean by going back, returning? I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Hmm. He's a dark elf, which, as a race, Anaig has a lot of sympathy for. Since she's been in Skyrim, she's had really good experiences with a lot of dark elves. Uh, Irileth was really impressive. Uh, she drank at the uh, Nisa's Corner Club in Windhelm and kind of commiserated with them for a little bit. She feels some solidarity with them. So she's kind of inclined to trust this dark elf, just for racial reasons, which seems a little sketchy, but um, still, she's going to be careful. I don't think I can trust you until you tell me more. Your concerns are understandable. Trust is a very difficult commodity to come by these days. No kidding. I can only give you my word as a priest of Mara that my intentions are honorable. Priest of Mara, huh? Uh, it's not enough, but Anag wants to see where this is going to go, so... Okay. What next? Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. You want to go now? Uh, you know, Anag knows magic, she knows the ins and outs of conjuration, she knows planes of oblivion, she knows the Daedric Lords, although she feels no um, reverence towards any of them. So she wouldn't need to ask who the Daedric Lord Vermina is, but at the same time she would be interested to know why Vermina is interested in this town, so she'll ask a very general question. She doesn't necessarily want to give away too much right now. Vermina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. Sounds From horrific. Her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Hmm. What does she use the memories for? Who can say? 
Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, I take it that's conjecture on your part. Are far from benevolent. Okay. I promise to answer all of your questions. Follow me. Tell you what, you get started. I'm going to say that Arendur marked the uh, Nightcaller Temple on a Nike's map and that she'll. <clears throat> oh, is he really, really waiting? Anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go up there right this second. I'm gonna say that Nike has it marked on her map. Uh, Erender did her that favor, marked it. Where are you? There you are. Oh, he's moving double time. Is this... Follow me. It's this way. What? Glim, you gonna be okay? Okay. All right. Well, I guess we're going now then. Yes, I'm here. It feels good to finally have a chance to help these people. Helplessly watching them suffer has been difficult. Why helplessly? Let me see what we got here. I don't. I don't know what we're getting into, frankly. So. And I wish he'd move a little bit faster. The tower on that hill is our destination. Oh. Around here, call it the Tower of the Dawn. I'm not familiar with the tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcaller Temple was established inside. When the temple was active, the priests would rarely be seen at dawn. They preferred to live a solitary existence. Hmm. The temple had been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, isn't it? A ruin within a ruin. There's a Why small is that ironic? Tomorrow I established inside the tower's entry hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her. And I likes that he's giving her some information, but he hasn't really explained what his connection is to this place. He's a priest of Mara, so why would he be at all interested in this temple devoted to Vermina? Why was there a temple to a, a, a you know, clearly evil Daedric prince right outside the town? That's do the townspeople honestly not know about it. Seems a little weird. Hmm. Yeah, and I doesn't really trust this guy, but we'll see where it goes. The old Bethesda run walk, run walk, run walk. Green light, red light. Green light, red light. When he took off running, I was thinking like, oh great, he's not, he's not going to take any time to get up there at all. We can just follow him. But now I'm like, oh, I wish I would have just. I don't know, done something else? I didn't realize he was going to walk the whole way. Goats? What are you guys doing? So what can we expect in here? Do you have anything to... I mean... What can you tell me? Nike's starting to think maybe she should not have come out here alone with this strange man. Mare, whatever. However, the music seems pretty awesome. 